Hello again, it's Joey Joe McGuire. I'm in my favourite local Wetherspoons, uh, which is in Fulham Broadway. It's called the Oyster Rooms. Uh, nice posh name. It's a lovely pub, uh, brilliant stuff. Um, it's in uh, Fulham Broadway Underground Station Shopping Centre, up the escalator, right in front of you. Can't miss it. That's on Fulham Road. Excuse me. Um, Fulham, London, United Kingdom. <coughs> I'm about to re recite the first of two poems I wrote in the early hours of this morning. I'm uh, nocturnal, go to bed at five o'clock, get up at midnight. Hence, that's when I write my poetry. Uh, when there's absolute silence and no doorbells or telephones ringing or whatever. Uh, just the sounds of the night. Anyway, the first of the two poems, here we go, it's called The Kindest of Tragedies. It was a tragedy of great proportion, a brief moment, life-changing, that nothing on earth could have prepared me for. It was like being dead, only to be reborn a split second later, to find everything had changed, turned inside out, topsy-turvy, never to be the same again. In an unforgettable instance, instant, I lost more than I'd had or ever hoped to have. My life, a discarded book, had been brutalized, ripped from its binder, page after page, leaving a blank cover as an empty shell. I had become an unwritten script, with no guarantee of ever being rewritten. And so the process began, slowly at first, with painful recollections being ironed out into some semblance of order, so that, hopefully, one day, my story could be told, bearing in mind everybody has some kind of story to tell. The decades pass slowly, with the foundations of my new beginning equally as stubborn in being formed, and built with dogged determination, blood, sweat and tears, all done in the dark cavern of inner hopelessness. The poems, they became the crutch that would allow me to limp. They were the cement that lay between and bonded the building blocks of my survival. They were the fuel inside my belly that enabled my empty heart to go on beating. Eventually, my body of work outstripped my wildest dreams. The poems became a myriad of chapters that formed the new book. They were the kindness in the tragedy, a warning to all, a learning curve, an obituary, to all that had existed in my life before and my life after. My past, my former self, became irrelevant, so much so I rarely saw them through the mist. They became a distant memory, never to be forgotten. But every day that passed put them another day further away from my mind. Through the hardship I learned some important lessons. My shell aged and my inner self morphed into another being. Something, someone different who I never thought I'd be. And through it all I discovered that life was not a rehearsal. It was a challenge and should be treated as such. I found out the hard way that no matter how tough life gets, there is always someone, somewhere, suffering the same or more than me. So I have no regrets, only a debt of gratitude towards the tragedy that sought to extend, extend my wisdom after a moment of madness lashed out in, attempt, in an attempt to do me in. Got a bit difficult there because it suddenly went from silent to boisterous noise. So it makes it difficult. I almost lost the thread but didn't. Not their fault. And uh, anyway, I like the rawness uh, of uploading uh, in Weatherspoons, my favourite um, organisation, along with Tim Martin, my favourite person who deserves a medal. Tim Martin, founder, owner of Weatherspoons.